So, uh, let us begin with the main theorem which we are going to prove. So, let x be a locally compact topological space which is not compact. So then, there is a compactification So, then there is another topological space which we call, call x hat along with an inclusion i from x to x hat such that the following conditions hold. First is x hat minus i of x is just one point which we denote p0. Second is i is continuous. Third is the image of x under i is Fourth is the image of x is dense. Okay. So let us prove the existence of such a topological space x hat. As I said, we take x hat. So the first condition also already tells us that. Uh, so, we want i to be an inclusion and x hat minus the image is just one point. So, therefore, we have to take x hat is just x disjoint union one point. Okay. So, next we have to define a topology on x hat. So, define a collection tau of subsets of x hat. Uh, satisfying any one of the following two conditions. So, A is if u is an open subset of x and u is open okay, and B is if p naught belongs to u and x hat minus u, note that x hat since p naught is in u, x hat minus u is a subset of x, right, which is contained in x is compact in the subspace of i. from x. Yeah. So, we take we let tau be the collection of uh, subsets which satisfy these conditions yeah. and we need to check that tau. So, let us check that tau satisfies conditions for being a topology on x hat. Okay. So, uh, let us check the first condition. So, we need to show it we, so we need to show that the empty set and the full set x are in tau. So, the empty set satisfies A and the full set x hat satisfies B, right. So, thus phi and x hat are in tau, okay. So, next uh, let u i be an arbitrary collection. in tau. 
so we need to show that v which is the union of these is in tau right so if all the ui satisfy condition a then clearly v which is the union also satisfies so which would mean that each of the uis is contained inside x and each of these is open which means the arbitrary union is going to be open so v also satisfies condition 1 condition a right so let's assume that one of these so assume that let's say ui not does not is does not satisfy a so it satisfies b yeah for some i not now right so uh, then let's look at so consider the set so then v contains p not and therefore to show that v is in this collection we can only show that v satisfies b so consider the set x minus x hat minus v So we are forced to look at this set x hat minus v. This is equal to x hat minus union i in i u i, which is equal to the intersection i in i x hat minus u i. Right. Uh, so as yeah as U i not okay contains p not. This implies x hat minus u i not is completely contained inside x. Right. So thus we can write x hat minus v is equal to intersection i in i x hat minus u i intersected with x okay right so if okay if uj satisfies a right so then this clearly implies that uj is contained in x and therefore x hat minus uj intersected x is simply equal to x minus uj right this is an easy check and similarly uh, okay so therefore we can divide this into two parts intersection i in i ui satisfies a x hat minus ui intersected with x then this whole thing intersected with intersection i in i u i satisfies b x hat minus u i right uh, so this is equal to because of what we saw here this is equal to intersection i in i u i satisfies a x minus u i intersected with i in i u i satisfies b x hat minus u i right. So, this collection is non empty. as u i naught is here right now all these are closed of x right and this is a, a compact each of these is a compact subspace 
of x right so this implies that x hat minus v uh, is a closed subspace of a compact subspace of x right which implies that x hat minus v is compact is a compact subspace of x right so this implies that v satisfies v which implies that v is in tau right so therefore tau satisfies the second condition for being a topology so finally let's check that tau satisfies the third condition for being a topology so for that let u1 u2 up to un be finitely many elements of tau and we need to check that v which is the intersection of the uis is in tau okay so first assume that consider the case where all ui satisfy b right so then v contains p not uh, so b was p not is in each of the uis and x minus ui is compact So then, v contains p naught. Right. So x hat minus v is equal to a finite union of x hat minus u i. Each of these is compact. Right. And clearly, a finite union. Clearly, a finite union of compact subspaces is compact right so this implies that v satisfies p which implies that v is in top right so now let's consider the second case which is uh, so assume that one of the ui's satisfies a right uh, so then right so then v does not contain contain p not and we need to show that v satisfies a right that's the only way we can show that v is in tau yeah so uh, notice that as v does not contain p naught it is already contained in x note that v is contained in x as p naught is not in v right so thus we can write v as v intersected x which is equal to intersection i equal to 1 to n ui intersected x right so if uj satisfies b right so uh, then it is easy to check or i mean so this is always true uj is equal to x hat minus x hat minus uj right so intersecting both sides this is always true this is a very simple set theoretic statement since uj is contained in x hat 
So uh, intersecting both sides with x. So this implies that uj intersected x is equal to x minus x hat minus uj, right? But x hat minus uj is a compact subspace of x. as u j satisfies b. This implies a closed subspace of x. Right? This implies x minus x hat minus u j is an open subspace. Right? So thus we get that b is equal to intersection i equal to 1 to n u i intersected x. Yeah. So, we can break this intersection into two parts u i satisfies a u i intersected x intersected u i satisfies b u i intersected x right. and in both cases each of these members is open in, in x, right? And since a finite intersection, of open sets is open, this implies B is open in x. Therefore, we have checked that tau satisfies all three conditions. Thus, tau defines a topology on x hat. Okay. Uh, next, let us prove that. So, I should have said Hausdorff. Hausdorff. Yeah, which is what we are going to check next. So, we have defined a topology on x hat. So, let us check that this topology is Hausdorff, right. So, let us prove that x hat is Hausdorff, right. So, if x comma y are in x, so we have to take any two points in x hat and we have to construct neighborhoods of these points which are disjoint. So, if x and y are in x, right then we are done as x is Hausdorff. Okay. Uh, so, we can since x is Hausdorff there are two neighborhoods there are two open subsets u and v inside x such that u contains x and v contains y and their intersection is empty and since both these u and v are in tau by condition 1. Yeah? So, therefore, in this case we are done. Right? So, let us consider the next case. If x belongs to x and y is equal to p naught. Yeah? This is the only other case we need to consider. Yeah? So, then let w be an open subset of small x in x such that the closure of w in x is compact. Right? Such a w exists because we are assuming that x is locally compact. Right? So, then 
x hat minus w closure satisfies condition right and is an and so is an open subset of x hat right so clearly w and x hat minus w closure are disjoint so is an open subset of x hat containing p naught right so thus we have found the open neighborhood of x hat an open subset of x hat containing p naught another open subset of x hat which contains w says that their intersection is empty yeah. so this shows that x hat is hostov okay so next let us prove that x hat is compact right so suppose we are given an open cover so x hat is equal to union us so uh, there is a ui ui not such that p not belongs to this ui not okay so thus x hat minus u i not is contained in x and is compact okay so now uh so x hat minus u i not this is contained in this union u i and this implies that x hat minus u i not intersected x is contained in this i in i u i intersected x right so now exactly as we saw over here right if u i satisfies b then u i intersected x is an open subspace of x right we saw this above right so this is if ui satisfies a then obviously ui intersected intersected x is equal to ui and it's an open subset of x and on the other hand if ui satisfies b then as we saw above ui intersected x is an open subset of x right so but this is equal to x hat minus ui not since x hat minus ui not is contained in x yeah so therefore this open cover since x hat minus ui not is compact and it's a subspace of x and we have found an open cover uh, of this inside x so this open cover has a finite subcover right so thus x hat minus ui not is contained in finitely in uij this implies x hat is contained in uij union ui not right so this proves that x hat is compact uh okay next uh we have the obvious inclusion denote the obvious inclusion right so if u contained in x hat is open and
and u is of type a u satisfies a then clearly i inverse of u is simply equal to u which is open yeah on the other hand if u satisfies b then as we saw above u intersection x x yeah, not x j is open in x yeah so this implies the i inverse u which is exactly u intersection x is open thus in both cases the inverse image of an open subset is open so this implies i is continuous Uh, as we already seen that x hat is Hausdorff, right? And in a Hausdorff topological space, a single point is always close, is a closed subset, because the complement is an open subset. Yeah. So this implies that I of x, which is equal to x hat minus this closed subset is an open subset right and uh, and the last thing we need to show that finally we need to show that i of x is dense in x hat right so for this let u be an open set in x hat which contains p not So we need to show that u intersection x is non-empty. Yeah. So if u intersection x is empty, right? So this will imply that p not. Uh, so as this will imply, yeah, as x is equal to x hat is equal to x disjoint union p naught. This will imply that u is equal to p naught. Right? That is, the singleton set p naught is open in x hat. Right? So thus, this will imply that x, which is equal to x hat minus this open subset contained in x hat, is a closed subspace. which will imply that x is compact right so but this but this contradicts our assumption right so thus uh, u intersection x is not empty which implies that I of x is dense in x. So this completes the proof of the theorem. So we will end this lecture here.